told you what to chase told you how to run the hey everybody and welcome back to my channel y'all y'all see me with my little timu drip on my little timu outfit don't judge me baby under ten dollars i'm gonna put it on but anyway whole nother video for a whole nother subject okay this video is based on the stuff i've been getting from bath and body words victoria's secret child now mind you I have a bag bigger than this in my closet for my girls because I got them some too. But this right here, everything you see now is me stocking up for Valentine's Day, baby. This is December. Then we got January and right after that, February, 14 days in. It's over with. That's all we got. That's all we have. So I want to say probably I want to start making my, my Valentine's Day baskets the beginning of January, okay? So, it being December, it is now the time to stock up, buy what we got to buy. Everything is on sale because it's Christmas. Um, besides getting the stuff that I got to get for my kids and my family, I have been going out here and there purchasing different stuff for Christmas. One thing, I mean, for for uh, for basket season, y'all, for Valentine's Day. Now, I have been going into some um, Dollar Trees. That stuff is already downstairs, so I can't pull that out. But I basically been getting those pink or those peach looking um, body washes. I have been stocking up on those. I've been getting the body wash because, as you know, if I'm making 150 baskets, that means I need 150 body washes if I'm going to put it in each one. Or even if I put it in half of the baskets that I'm making, that's 75 body washes I got to get. So, being that I stopped doing baskets around uh, after Father's Day back in June, from June to now, I've been getting pieces here, pieces there. By the time come uh, February, y'all, I should be stocked up with almost everything I need and what I don't need. Y'all know I'm going to come in, do a haul, and show y'all what we using for this basket season. And it got to be some different, y'all, because y'all know I went big last year. I sold a whole heap of baskets, Mother's Day, Christmas, uh, not Christmas, honey, you talking about a whole nother subject. Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, Father's Day, all that stuff. So, I don't kind of want to... I'm trying to think out the box, y'all. I've been watching LBE. Elaine been doing some good stuff for Christmas. For those that, for those of you that's doing Christmas, make sure y'all go check her channel out. She has been doing some good stuff for uh, Christmas. I was looking at the other day, and she's been thinking out the box. I can't wait to see what she has going on for us for Valentine's Day. Because I'm like, I sold all the baskets last year. I don't want to kind of remake the same kind of stuff. And then they be like, girl, I got my mom that last year. I got to revamp, redo Make it different from what I did last year for those that came in and purchased. I don't want to have to have the same kind of stuff, re -gift. Like, I got her that last year when you had it and all that stuff. So, we definitely got to think out the box. If y'all have some ideas, y'all make sure y'all go ahead and DM to me. Instagram, either my Yummy Tea Cakes page, which I got to start being over there a little more. Or my customized design page, y'all. Give me some hints, some ideas, because I got to think out the box. We got to do something different, okay? But, that being said, I have been getting ready. I have a lot of candles that I feel like are going to add a, um, basically a price to our stuff. Definitely going to make the basket go up. I feel like this is going to be like my valuable stuff that's going in the basket. Now, mind you, I smelled the fruit the other day with my, my daughter, honey. And some of these going to have to stay in the house. I, I got them to sell. And long as I make my money back, because I was looking at it, y'all. When I got these, so cute. Imagine this with one of our little, um... What we did, purple bound sponges? I'm trying to get my camera to add right because had y'all, y'all don't know, honey. If y'all don't see my Instagram page, my kids don't bought me a little camera. Not a little camera. They actually upgraded my camera, y'all. So I'm trying to focus and get it together at the same time. But this purple will go cute with one of those purple bells that y'all know. Y'all know we need to start ordering them bells from Amazon. Amazon description down, link down below, y'all. Y'all need to start ordering them bells because they was like $40, I think, every package. But mind you, if we doing 100 baskets, we got to get multiple packages. One week here, this paycheck here, this bill week, so I can't get it this week. I'm just saying, like, for those of you that working on the budget, work 9 to 5s, got to come in and make stuff fit. Get it here and there. Get your bells one week. Next week, pay the bills. The next week after that, get your little soaps or whatever you put in your baskets. Go ahead and start breaking that stuff down. Last year, a lot of y'all was like, I want to do a whole bunch of baskets, but it's just not in my price point. Baby, we got two months. I well, not even really two months. What did I do? That is six. Basically, it's two months, but still not two months because we need baskets ready ahead of time to be out ready to go out there and sell. But anyway, y'all was saying y'all didn't have it. Y'all have time. Y'all have at least 
what, 10 weeks to get this gun outside of y'all family Christmas. If y'all got kids, y'all got to buy Christmas. So I know that's going to kind of interfere with it. That's why we should have started like months ago. Like I said it already. Hopefully y'all have been putting stuff aside. But just right now for crunch time, these last few months, even if we start after New Year's, those four weeks in January, start a week here, buy this, a week there, buy this. And what I did was, Victoria's Secret had to sell y'all. Right now today, December the 6th, they have these on sale for $30. Mind you, yesterday, last night, it was the last day. They had them on sale for 20 or 25. They had the slippers for 15 that matched the robes. And they had the robes for 25, I think. Because the bras was 20. So they had the robes for 25. So I was like, I got a two seventy-five dollars off. When I purchased this stuff, I purchased it when it was $30 a robe. So then they went to $25 yesterday. We missed it. It's over with. Now I'm crying about it because now they're back at $30. But anyway, I still got my $25 off $75. But these robes, when I got them and I had a coupon then, 20% off. So I paid $20, $18 to $20 a robe. These are some nice little robes. This one says pink all over it. Make sure y'all, if y'all can, if y'all got a discount or cold, anything that'll help y'all with it. Right now, I don't like the just 30 but it keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Make sure y'all be looking out for them Victoria's Secret deals to get y'all some robes. Because imagine, even though it's $20, and y'all know we need to check out Timu too. Because Timu got some nice robes that's definitely going to be very less inexpensive than this. But y'all know I still got a few pink bags. And I'm all over the place. I'm sorry. But y'all know I still got a few pink bags from last year. Those that's asking, they've been watching my previous video. Hopefully you stumbled on this video and you see Pink, I mean, Timu do not have those bags no more, y'all. They don't have nothing pink for us. The little pouches we was getting that was pink. Everything that we was buying that was Victoria's Secret, pink, look-alike, duplicate, whatever it was, they are gone. They are no longer on Timu. So those that's been coming and like, what's the link? Where they at? Girl, they are gone. I want to punch myself in the face so bad because I knew I supposed to got more than that. Once them little Mother's Day was over with, baby, I kind of was like, oop, gone out the door. And I didn't go back and get no more like I wish I would have and now they gone but I kind of feel like I got enough so for those that you got some of those little pink duffel bags little take you a roll put it on top of that and automatically that's 125 baby all we gotta do after that put up some little Dollar Tree stuff on the side of it and um and that's gonna be uh automatically we're gonna be probably gonna spend about 50 dollars getting it together because this is 25 plus we had our bag when it was about 10 dollars so that's 35 and then we put about ten dollar worth of stuff on there that's 45 dollars we still gonna make a good profit selling those bags at 125 so i got enough of these to match up with my pink bags because i feel like anytime you put one of these victoria's secret rolls in your basket the price just went up it just went up okay especially the fact that you can't get these on timu no more baby so they already know how much they use by the time february come when the men's looking for their woman stuff these gonna be back at 75 dollars so the fact that we gonna be able to put them in our basket at retail value which is 75 dollars then up the charge we definitely gonna get 125 to 150 for anything that we put this with okay so i definitely stocked up on them i got different sizes uh extra small small is one size small a medium large is another size large extra large and then two xl which i feel like um an extra small person can still fit a medium or large um uh, a extra a large person can still fit an extra large so i kind of got different sizes to vary because I already had mine on, baby. I got mine out already. But as you can see, I got about 10 robes. One, two, three, four, five, six. I love that this pattern right here. As you can see in that box, I got a lot of these. I love that this pattern right here. This was my favorite one. I got my robe already. So that's two, four, six in this box. I have seven, eight. So that's eight. And then I'm going to count these over here. I think it's two over there. That's 10. Plus, I got some in the closet. Make sure when y'all doing Victoria's Secret, y'all go to today's deal. I got this bag completely free. I ain't busted open yet. I'm going to keep it in a package because I'm giving it away for Christmas. But I got this completely free. When you spend, I had to spend, I think it was spend 125 I got a bag for free. Right now, I got to spend 125 You get a blanket for free. And guess what? If I spend 125 I already got $25 out of 75 So basically, I'm at $100. With a free blanket and twenty five dollars off, all I have to do is spend a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars easy to spend. Right now, that's basically about four of these if I wanted four more. But on top of that, I still get well, it's five of those, five of those, and a free blanket. I don't feel like you could beat it. That knocked my cost down to about fifteen dollars a robe, y'all. Okay, so make sure you checking your daily deals out. 
check your mailbox if you haven't already signed up for Victoria's Secret go ahead and sign up get you some coupons start coming in and that helps your cost go all the way down okay but I got me some little a, a good start for for be, uh, Valentine especially with these pink ones y'all I definitely got a good start with these pink ones this is giving Christmas so I feel like um I don't know what size this is what size this is it don't got it on the front but I feel like I need to get this out to somebody within the family because this is giving Christmas. I don't want to do Valentine and put this out there. They're gonna be like, girl, you just go giving away what you had left over for Christmas, baby. This is extra small, small, but I'm gonna give this away to somebody in the family. It has pink all over it, it looked good on the model, so that's why I got it. I wasn't thinking about the fact that we can't put this one in no Valentine's Day gift because it got rain deals and chroma trees, and we're not gonna do that, y'all. We're not gonna do that one, but definitely this pink one is a good one. It also this, um. The black ones are good ones. I love the black one because they had a little pink puppy dog. The pink puppy. Okay. They got the pink puppy. And then on the back, it got pink all across the back. I want to open this and show you. And I will because guess what? I can put this stuff in a gift box at the same time. It can go right on in a gift box. Sorry about all the noise, y'all. But how everybody been doing? Have y'all been getting y'all stuff together? Have y'all been buying stuff for Christmas? I mean, um, Valentine's Day. Have y'all been stocking up? Like I said, my Dollar Tree stuff I already downstairs, baby. I been on the go with that. Just give me a good forty dollars, run me in there, get me a whole bunch of little body stuff, put it up, and we almost ready to go. Okay. But I like the this black one because of this. I love the way that pink feel and look this thing up off of there on the picture. So I had to get this one. I love this one. The black one is cute. The only thing I didn't really like about the black why I didn't get that many because I'm thinking about us putting it together in a package. How this one is when I take it out, the package is already wrapped and ready to go. The black one don't come like that. That one, the pink red one don't come like that either. So I was thinking about how I'm going to set it up. They're not going to see the back. So I was like, I don't know how I'm going to set this one up in that, you know, to make it where they can see the pink cross the back. So I just felt like it'll be easy to get the pink ones that got Victoria's Secret all over it and call it a day. I'm going to leave this like this. This will probably be a gift for somebody in the family too. Um, because I don't kind of like, you can't see that it's pink from the, like when I buy stuff name brand, I be wanting to jump out at. Like I want it all over my body. You got to see it. I can't wear no blank t-shirt that I paid $75 for and you don't even know the name of it unless you look in the tag. Like my son going to be doing, I'm like. If it's name brand, you gonna show the name brand? You might as well just have on a regular Walmart shirt or a regular shirt, baby, because you can't see what it is. So in that case, you can't see what this is unless you turn it to the back. I'm probably not gonna be using this one in my basket. I'm gonna give that away as a gift to somebody in the family. Because like I said, I want it to pop up off of me. I want you to be able to see pink. I don't want to just have a plain. If I'm gonna do a plain roll like that, I might as well get a Timu roll, put it in there. They ain't gonna know who it's from anyway, okay? So other than the... Um, candles and the the robes to put in the blanket i've been grabbing a little body wash here now they've been having a three for um buy three get three free um they even went down one day they was doing 5.95 y'all have to i know they would email you 20 hundred times out of the day but y'all have to check them emails out from bath and body works y'all do not be want to miss them sales y'all I got some body washes. I got some. And I stuck to color schemes because I know I got purple little flowers. I know I got purple stuff. Um, I stuck to kind of pink, purples, peachy. Different colors that I knew that I can use in a theme. I stuck to different colors like that. Now, mind you, I don't use my these already, honey. When I got this load in, I was already overdue for a refill in my closet. So I don't use. Uh oh. I don't use some of them anyway because I love these body washes. I really do. So I got a few for myself. Stop up for yourself too, honey. We got to take care of ourselves too. We got to splurge a little bit on ourselves. So I did use some of those. Make sure you get your body washes. As far as the men go, they got the three for three. Make sure you're taking care of your men too. Because you know when men, uh, Father's Day come around, it's going to be hard to get that Father's Day stuff. And we also going to be using this stuff for Valentine's Day for men too. Um, this is Noria, my husband. Love this one. So when I did, um, he was actually the one who said, boo, what was that you got me for Father's Day? I'm trying to focus my camera. That's what it was. But it was this body wash. He was like, I ain't like the spray and stuff, but that body, when he came, you can smell it on his skin. Like when he came out the shower from taking a bath and using this, you can actually smell his arm and smell it. Like it smelled that good. And I said, let me get you some more of that. Because he asked me, he said, what was that you got me for Father's Day? I need some more of that. It smells so good, y'all. 
And when he took the bag this time, I said, let me see. And I smelled the arm. I said, dang, it's inside your body. It's like in there. So these are some good. I see why they cost that much. These are some good little washes. He liked the North specifically. Um, the other ones, him took a bath and he didn't really like express this the one for me. But that one is the one for him. So I've been stocking up on the body washes. I've been trying to get little sets here and there off the buy three, get three. Mind you, I do the amount that I do. I think when I see free shipping or uh, three for three with free shipping, that's when I get on there and I want to at least spend $4 at a time, $6 at a time, wherever the limit is to get me the free shipping. That's what I get. Come back another time. I got some more money to spend. Do it again. I don't just sit up there and just like, I have to do at the last minute and buy two, three hundred dollars worth of stuff. I've been going penny pension. Four dollars here, four dollars. I think this one right here was one hundred twenty-five dollars. I think when I buy stuff, my hundred, one hundred twenty-five dollars be where I be want to try to be. But you ain't gotta be there. You could be at a forty or sixty and still build that stuff up. But I think it's about one hundred twenty-five dollar box. I got um like this as a set. I got some. No, it ain't. This is a clean slate. So I got I got two. Now mind you, some of them they got four pieces. I'm not putting a whole four piece in there. I want to break it down. A four piece will make me two different baskets. So I'm getting like two of something like this one. This is the wash and the spray. Then I got another one where I got the um I got the wash and the lotion. So just breaking it up, making my corn scratch, but giving me enough baskets so when it comes time for uh Father's Day, I already got a little stuff on my hand. That's why I had to make this video and let y'all know. Go ahead and start putting y'all some stuff together, baby. It's right around the corner. Because when you look at it, this summer finna fly through so fast because you already out shopping for your kids or your family, whatever you're doing. Laying around, getting some me time like I've been doing, y'all. I've been, I been getting some me time, some me pounds. I've been gaining some weight, looking at all these moving and looking at TV. But when you look at it, how hard I go throughout the year. Mind you, when January will kick in, these videos gonna be popping out back to back to back to back to back because we got Jan starting January, but then we got February. Right after February, we got what is it? I think we got April for Easter. And then turn back around, we got Mother's Day. Then turn back around, we got Father's Day. Like everything be so back to back to back. It was like I was going non stop like a dang on Easter energized bunny all of last year until after Father's Day. They gave me my break. But then right after that, we had to go do our vacation. So I really kind of got my break after September. These last couple months, I've been laying down, but I've been having so many cake orders. I get up, do the orders, and then I'm right back in on whatever show I want to watch. And if you made it this far in this video, make sure you've already given this video a thumbs up. And what shows are y'all watching? Give me some new ideas, y'all. But don't 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 have me in that bed too long, because I love to get into them 8 season, 10 season video shows and stuff like that, honey. I be... I be laid out in there. You can't find me for a whole two weeks watching those, okay? Like, right now, I even go back and watch older stuff. Like, I'm watching One Tree Hill. I never watched it. So, I never was a TV, TV person. So, I think I started watching TV in 2020. COVID. Before then, I never really watched TV. You can catch me watching TV. I ain't had time to watch TV. I was so busy I didn't watch TV. Now, I don't know how to cut the dang on TV off. So, if y'all got some shows y'all can recommend, whole nother subject. But make sure y'all put that down below. Um, this another set. Y'all know I be just going over talking like I'm, I am y'all cousin. I'm y'all favorite cousin. They don't be want to go home. I would talk y'all in these videos to death. I guess that's why they be so long. But I do love the um, comments. Let me know. It's okay to have a long video. I talk so much, honey. You'll be on made by 10 cakes. Put, put together by 50 baskets. It gets y'all through. And I love that y'all tell me that inspires y'all. So I'm going to just keep on talking in my videos. And don't even kill the ones that don't want to hear it. Like y'all say. Just watch another video, baby, because I was talking out of them. I do, I'm like that favorite cousin that don't want to go home. Be don't walk me to the car, standing at the car, girl, let me pull off. I'm trying to leave, okay? That's me, but don't worry about that. Y'all like that, so we're going to keep it like it is. I talk too dang on much. But this another set. I got them just different little sets, black tie, and I think that black is cute. Mind y'all, though. The videos that I did last year, we might have to go back and double down on some of those videos because y'all know we got to go to our uh, perfume vendors. You know, we had all them little heels. Um, how did y'all feedback go for those frooms? Like, a lot of minds were saying, I, I DM'd somebody like um, a couple weeks ago. She asked me for a cake, and I was like, oh, how your mama like the basket? She was like, girl, she liked it. She ain't even open the dang on basket up. She ain't even use nothing. So, I can't get no good feedback because them mamas is keeping their stuff cooped up on their basket. But I know I got a good feedback from my husband because he wanted some more of this wash. He didn't like the spray. You know, but 
he liked it a while. He, he a different type of man when it comes to them colognes and stuff. He the type, we'll be in the, uh, we'll get on the elevator and we'll be like, oh, you smell so good. I'll be like, girl, stop. That my man. No, don't do that. But that's how the cologne that he be wearing, that's how he smells. So he didn't really like them sprays. He couldn't, his colognes be doing something different, okay? But anyway, fresh water, I got a whole nother set. And I just mixed it up. It didn't matter. I could have got a, a body wash and a lotion, but I wanted to kind of make sure I got washes this time, y'all. Last time I was getting sprays and lotions, but I wanted to make sure I got washes because all I got to do with this is put a little body loafer in here for them to wash their body with and a couple more items and that man basket is done. So I said, let me make sure I get washes so I can put a loafer with it, okay? Last time I was just doing like a lotion and a spray or something like that, but I tried to make sure that I at least got a body wash with everything and this gold gonna be so cute when i find some men gold stuff to put with it like a gold cologne set i don't really know uh i did have my nephew he liked it, the colognes that we was buying you know we was getting three dollar colognes so make sure y'all go back and start going to that video and get that link and go get some of that stuff too coming back around furby we gotta start getting us some furby stuff um you know furby had the dove all of that stuff start getting you a little whatever it takes to get you the free shipping $100, $60, whatever it takes. Go ahead and start getting here and down, here and down, here and down. Because it's right around the corner, y'all. January is just like this. And then February is right next door to that. Like, you can go outside and walk back in the door and it's February. That's how it's coming so fast to me. But, yeah, just go ahead and get y'all some stuff in. Furby got the Dove. You know, we was they even have the Axe Sprays. Um, I think I'm going to still do a few hookah baskets. They was pretty popular. This one go together. This go together. I like this color too. The bourbon. I like that color. And I don't know why when I do like this, it don't automatically zoom in. But I'm going to have to fix this camera. But anyway, it supposed to automatically zoom. Okay. You did a little bit. There you go. I got to fix my settings on this camera. Get it together. But that's it, y'all. That's it. That's all I got for the mess. That's it. That's all. It looks like I did pretty good, though. I actually got... um. A lot of stuff. I can't I can't say what I know. I probably spent about 125, buy three, get three. It was amazing to me. Um, but it's definitely worth going ahead and sticking this stuff up because guess what? I got enough right now. If I wanted to start my baskets for Valentine's Day, I can start right now if I wanted to. So I am glad that I have been and I got this box back in October, I think. Probably October was it October? What this is November? Yeah, I got this back in September. Right? I remember when I came back off the um, vacation, I came back ordering all kinds of stuff. I came back spending money like I ain't just live from spending all that dang on money on that vacation. But yeah, I, I did that. That's my men's section. This my little women's. Um, Now my women's. I didn't get any but body washes. And the reason I did that was um, because I use a lot of loafers. So I honestly didn't even get any but body washes. I can put that with some. And don't forget, City Trends. Um, Cedar Trends and Rainbow. You know, we got a lot of little spray sets for them. Cedar Trends and Rainbow. We got a lot of little sets from them, too. So, don't don't sleep on them, too. I don't know why I'm putting these deep in my bathroom, honey. I don't really take these for myself. I'm sorry. I just I, I just feel like giving myself some. I might have got it for, um, for what I got it for. But that's going to go to my cell phone. I got to restock. I just cleaned my shower out, too. And I ain't hardly got nothing in there. I got to clean it out. But other than that, y'all, um... Candle. Oh, they had. I'm sorry, y'all. I probably been in the video. Why did they have a candle sale this weekend? Just passed for $9.95. $9.95. Mind you, when I bought all these candles right here, I have one, two, three. I got 24 candles. The limit is 24, so I know I got 24 candles back then. It was $26.95, but split in half. I paid about $13.95 a candle, but then I had a 20% off coupon, so I probably spent about $11, $10 to $11 per candle, but these are three wood nice looking three wick candles y'all definitely feel like they can go in our basket look i think i just seen something that this will go with look stick that in there you got your wash gonna take your little dirt self a bath with your counter in the body beside the tub and uh get your body loaf and stick it in a basket honey that's a 75 dollar 75 to 100 dollar basket Mind you, these are twenty six ninety five. That's we using the resale value price when we price our baskets. We not using the what we got on sale. So this is twenty seven dollars, and this on the back of it is say thirteen feet. So basically, that's what thirty forty dollars. If we times three, 
that's 120 so with a lot of a couple more things some little inexpensive dollar tree stuff a, a bear we could make it 125 dollars but i would stick at 100 to still be able to get me a um what do I like that I still get a $75 profit because I ain't putting $25 worth of stuff in there. Mind you, $4, $13, put it together, really $11, that's $15. So I'm still going to make a pretty good penny off of me buying it for sale like I did, buying it off sale. But yeah, I'm definitely going to stick this in something, whatever I stick it in. I want at least $100 for my baskets that I'm putting my calendars in. So I just felt like, let me get on here with y'all, show y'all what I've been up to, show y'all the little ideas I had, which... I ain't really much, honey. Just the candles, the robes, catching these sales. Victoria's Secret, what I can tell you right now, Victoria's Secret, I would sell for $8. I don't want nothing over 5 to $6. I'm telling you, I don't want it. Keep your sale if I'm not going to get it for 5 or $6. Now, don't get on there and be like, oh, they got an $8 sale. No, that's not a sale to me. Because I have seen them on Victoria's Secret go down to $4.95. I've even seen $3.95. So, me knowing and seeing that amount, I can't really spend $8 because I know what I have bought for it before. So, if you get on now and you see it, the $4.95 or the $3.95, get y'all some of that. Y'all see all these colors I got? This is two, four. 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. I got, oh, I got a box in there on the floor. I got a box in there on the floor. I ain't even bring out, y'all. Dang. Don't worry about it. It's okay. You ain't like y'all can smell them anyway. I can't tell y'all, though. They got this peach one. Lord, all them tears, the seasons, and stuff like that. Those wasn't doing it for me. I'm going to tell y'all that now. Those weren't doing it for me. But the frozen lake, that's a good one. The falling furries, that's a good one. Um, and what is that one mean? Pool milk, honey. I was I was trying to go back and buy me some of those. I didn't really care for the swell of the world, but everybody's you know different. Snowy peachy berry, y'all. When I say y'all, this been going my room. This been going my room. Okay, this smells so freaking good, y'all. If I could get me and this camera finna fight. Hey, it, 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 leave me alone, Stephanie. She won't know what I'm finna fight the camera, I guess. But this one smells so good, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. <sighs> so peachy. This is snowy peachy berry, y'all. This smells so freaking good. Hopefully they get another sale that come back around. She um, said, should she call the food in? Should she call the food in? I feel like I could talk another 30 minutes. I don't know if she should call the food in yet. <laughs> No, so give me about 10 minutes. I'm going to sell it when I call it in. Right. But um, that one right there smells so good, y'all. That is my best candle scent I have ever smelled. Snowy Peachy Berry, if you can find it. So, I didn't. they didn't have it online. I called myself, supposed to get up Sunday and went into bath about the worst. And, and I was going to go shopping to like five of them until I found it. But I ended up not doing it. The sale was $9.95. Cheaper than what I paid when I went on my shopping spree for these 200 for these 24 when I went on my shopping spree for my 24, it was $9.95 I paid, like with the coupon 11. But $9.95, y'all, 24 would have cost me $240 plus tax and everything with my coupon. I would have went out the door spending about $240, $10 a counter. So be looking out for the Bath and Body Work counter sale. If y'all can get y'all some rolls, that's fine and dandy. If you can't, don't overdo it. You got to have a high budget. To be getting these because let me tell you just four of them gonna cost you a hundred dollars okay but i look at it like one of them gonna make my money big but to be able to get a large amount of inventory if you don't have that amount we gotta start looking at us some stuff to get shipped in through timu i will go ahead and start ordering up some stuff getting it in i do have a timu video coming in after this one i gotta wait till they approve my coats and all that stuff honey but that's gonna be next but, um, yeah, go ahead and we got to start looking on Timu finding stuff. If y'all found anything, any ideas that y'all been finding stuff, make sure y'all come in under this video. Let us know what is going on, y'all. What we need to be stocking up for. We got to get prepared. Like I said, it's right around the corner. Getting ready for basket season, but that's what I've been doing. I got my little Victoria in my bath and body work haul. My Dollar Tree haul is downstairs. But like I said, it's mainly just been those um, body washes I've been getting. 
to buy the loafers. We need to be ordering those from Timu because, you know, we was getting those for like 60 some cent. Y'all seen the videos we did that. We might have to just go back to the videos, click some of those links that I got in my older videos, and go ahead and start ordering some of this stuff and get prepared. Because y'all know I'm doing the big. I'm going out on the corner stand up. If I have myself together this year, I want to be on one corner, my husband on another corner, my daughter on another corner, her friend on another corner. I really want to take over. But I would kind of probably have to start making baskets right now. Because I'm telling you, it came so fast and I thought my little hundred or whatever baskets I had was just... I was selling out in a day. I was selling out in two days, y'all. I was selling out real fast. Mind you, Instagram used to be my way of making money but when i went on the street them people was pulling up give me two give me five give me one i was like oh i don't never want to just be an instagram seller again for those of you that has to i understand some of you can't get out on the streets and sell like you want to so yeah but when i was just limited to instagram and stuff i did okay but i didn't realize how much more i can do until i got out on that street and did those street sales it was truly worth it and being that February is our start for Valentine's Day, whatever we have left, we can always use for Mother's Day. Luckily, I only had a little stuff left, and I felt like I could have made way more baskets out of all that stuff. But I kind of felt like I started late, but I started in January, y'all. So we got to get started. Go ahead and get it out the way. Because y'all know me, I put them baskets up like this and be a similar line by myself real fast, put them together. Ain't even at that pace. If you're not at that speed, you need to start now. At least the beginning of January was starting now. Because me being at that speed and doing 10 and 20 other things, I felt like I did not have enough. Okay? But this was just something just talking to y'all. And I'd be on top of y'all today. So let me get off this video. I enjoyed showing y'all this stuff. I really enjoyed this stuff. It kind of got me excited. It really do. I got to start ordering my basket stuff. Um, I got the link for the 100 shrink bags down below in my Amazon store. I tried to organize it for y'all, but getting a hundred pack bags is way less expensive than keep buying like we was. I was telling y'all last year I was using the um, I think I was doing twenty four at a time. Hundred pack is way cheaper. Make sure you got your um heat gun. Go ahead and get your shrink wrap paper. Go ahead and get you some shreds, your little tissue paper you put in there, your shredded paper. Go ahead and start saving your newspapers for whatever, whatever you balling up, putting down at the bottom of that stuff. If you buying the rolls from Lowe's or wherever you buying the rolls from that we was ripping up, tearing, putting down in that stuff. Go ahead and start getting that. Go ahead and start getting you some ribbons. You can actually, as you sitting around like me, laying around looking at TV. This would be the best time to go ahead and start making my bows. Because that was taking out a lot of my time to help to stop making baskets and making bows. Now would be the time to just sit down the rest of December and make bows. Because guess what? If you got 100 baskets and you making bowls, that's 100 bowls you got to make. But y'all know I be using them ribbons from Amazon too. I got that link down there too. I be using those ribbons. But anything you feel like going to help you be successful this basket season, start. You got time. Start. Go ahead and do it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it if you're looking to get started. I just felt like this was a way for my more expensive baskets. This is where I'm going. But like I said, this you have to have a high budget. To be able to, this table alone, I probably spent about $500. Probably $500. And, and, and this ain't even a piece of what we need. You get what I'm saying? Like, we still need to buy the, buy the washes, the loafers. We still got to buy some little candles. We still got to put other little stuff in that basket to make it a complete basket. Now, I do love KOK Party Favor. She do have some. Well, she might put like three, four items in there. But that basket or whatever she make looks so good, y'all, that... You can't even tell that there's only two or three items in there because she make it look so good. But you know me, I like to pile my baskets up, make them look like, because like my husband, when I bought my basket, that's why I do my basket this way. My husband had done spent all that money on that basket, and when I opened up, it went in like three, four things, and then I was like, boo. That's what made me start doing baskets. So I kind of like to fill my baskets up. I'm different being that I was a consumer, and I didn't like those baskets. I'm like, man, you paid this much for that basket? Let me go ahead and start making baskets, okay? And that's when I came up with the idea of making baskets and doing baskets and all that stuff. But, like I said, I enjoyed talking to y'all in this video. I haven't did a video in a while. This is actually my second video I've done with my new camera. My dog, my kids bought me a new Sony camera. I don't know what happened to my camera. So, we got, y'all, the amount of, I got a lot of cards. So, I got, I own Title II, 10 cards. So in my yard, I have a whole bunch of vehicles, and I feel like people 
like look at it like oh they must got some money i don't know brown gas over here we ain't got nothing okay but i feel like they they target me for that so i got cameras everywhere i got a camera in my tree on the side i got a camera on my building the side i got cameras everywhere so we looking at the camera and this person apparently four o'clock in the morning three o'clock in the morning we was in her sleep normally i i hear the little buzz and i'd be like oh let me see what it is but it was buzzing so much i didn't check it um, so I kind of had it on a slight alert for some reason at night. Got on came in here, y'all. Went in my truck. Got out my truck. My truck was unlocked, apparently. Why we leave the door unlocked? We've never had this happen. We, it's a quiet neighborhood. I don't really have no reason to lock it up, but everybody, make sure y'all be locking y'all trucks up. Cross some sign. These people is out here trying to get it. But anyway, look on the camera. This joker right here. I mean, this joker is, um, uh, bold as on the way. He better be glad my husband went woke or one of my sons went woke and seen it because I'm telling you, we night house. We stay up. Sometimes I'm going to sleep 5, 6 o'clock in the morning just sitting around looking at TV. My husband be woke, my kids, somebody in the house always woke. So this particular night, I really don't understand why nobody didn't see him. He went in the truck, come back out. I feel like he got my camera, but I didn't know if my camera was in the car. I normally I set up parties and sometimes I say, let me take my camera, I'm going to do a video. So I don't know if when I did that party that day, I left my camera in the armrest. Or if I brought it in the house, that means somebody came and took it out of my house. Which I don't have nobody around me that steals or don't love me enough to to want to take from me. You know what I'm saying? So I don't have nobody that come around me and will steal something that they know I make my money off of. And if I do, like that make me have to reevaluate everybody because my camera came up missing. But I feel like... I hope that it was the guy that uh, broke into my truck. Because he came out, he had a little thing, he lifted up under there, and then he just walking in the yard, checking all the other car doors. And I'm like, because my truck is the one I drive the most. That's like the family truck when we get in it together, when I want to be cute, all that. You know, I got a Jaguar, I got a um, Challenger, a Porsche, a Chrysler 300, three of those. Um, and then my navigator out there, it's the one that I kind of drive the most because I have to put all my stuff from hauling for my cakes and all that stuff. But this is a whole nother video. If y'all just was here for the thing, I see y'all in the next one. But yeah, and I, I was, I drive that the most. So I feel like, I don't know why I left it on lot. I guess because I drive it so much, that's why I left it on lot. But that joker went, but I learned my lesson. It won't catch me slipping no more. I'm watching every alert and I'm on a A, okay? So yeah, I feel like he took my camera, but... If not, that means somebody walked out of here with it. But that being said, the whole purpose for that whole little story I just sat down and just told y'all was that my camera was gone. And I am now filming on my new camera. My kids came together and got me, y'all. Because it ain't cheap. The camera itself, when I purchased my last one, I paid $1,300 because I got the stand, the little Sony stand. That's $139 or $139 plus tax. The um, warranty is like $100. The camera itself for like $700. So, I spent a lot of money on that camera itself, and it was attached to the little stand, and also had the little mic, the little, um, what is it, robo mic, whatever it is, that thing, that thing, like, $79 by itself. So, it was a $1,000 loss that got taken from me. My battery was in there, my extra battery was in the little pouch, like, I, I just don't want to say nobody came to my house and got it, because I watched the cameras of people leaving out, too, so... I, I feel like it was this one joke I seen him leaving out pretty fast and he left my door unlocked. I felt like he was the one that did it. But that's a whole nother story. I don't want to say they got it from inside the house. But just to let y'all know, I'm on my new camera. This is the second video I made. Don't know what happened to my last one, y'all. Y'all probably heard in the other videos. I was like, I don't know what happened. And somebody was like, what you mean? And I felt like I had to just give y'all the back story on what happened with my camera. Daddy, I'm doing a video. I'll give you a call back as soon as I'm done. I'll be done in like two minutes. Okay, I can't with her. But anyway, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. I got a bad story on what happened with the camera. Filming on a new one. Gotta get used to it. See y'all in the next video. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Hope y'all didn't enjoy my rambling because I have not did no video the way I wanted to in so long, y'all. It was a lot I wanted to talk to y'all about. It was a lot I felt like I had to just get out, especially about the camera. And y'all know why I didn't have the camera no more. But um, I keep looking back, making sure I, I showed y'all everything. I showed y'all everything. I lo I told y'all be on point. Start ordering your bears. Start doing your stuff. And it's not much more that I can tell you other than I miss doing these videos. And I am back. I got my camera. I'm definitely on alert 
on alert watching for my camera it's probably gonna sleep up under my pillow from now on y'all because i miss doing my videos and that's why i'm probably talking so much so let me get off this video y'all i will see y'all in the next one make sure y'all comment down below let me know what you think about this video let me know what you are stocking up on let me know what you are finding out there what are your finds this is my more high it spent some more fines so make sure y'all get the other fines like, look he in the back like they is bothering me y'all they trying to go to lucky pound to get them some need and uh, the other one over there calling probably want me to bring her some over there so i don't know what they got going on y'all they got me on the road but let me get off this camera because like i said i talked to y'all all night my second video without having my camera since october october 15th it's like a, a whole month uh, probably october the 2nd that's when the video happened that's how long it's been without i've been without a camera y'all so i miss doing videos that's why i'm talking so much she came right back girl i just told y'all doing video Video that, that that don't mean nothing. She talking about you already told them bye. Y'all, just comment down below. I'll see y'all in the next one. <laughs> so y'all, this is how many I have when I went back. As y'all know in the video, I told y'all I was like, um, I had another box somewhere because I know I had 24 candles. But this is the candle setup that I have, and also they if you are um member, they gave me the um $16.95. I got two things for free. And you can use like so many colors at a time. But I got this candle holder and this candle holder for free. I went in and chose it because I'm like, I got candles. So why not get some candle holders? But these are $16.95, y'all. I had got both of these for free because I was clipping those um, promo coupons or whatever it is that they give you in your rewards. There's my reward coupons. But look at it. It is so cute. But all right, y'all. I'm gone. I had to just come back in because I pulled out. It was a whole nother box. Where the box go? It was a whole nother box that I didn't even have out with my candles. All right, y'all. Success is a finicky thing. And if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be. I don't want to let myself down my